Hey, welcome back. And uh, I hope you saw my earlier video on this uh, Tudor valve here. And as I promised, I would uh, come back and uh, show you what happens when we can get this thing apart. So I was able to take out this packing material. Uh, it's probably uh, asbestos fiber uh, with graphite impregnated it's pretty stiff and brittle um, and I used a uh, pick uh, such as this to uh, dig it out wasn't that difficult but I would suggest you wear a mask um, so as before I think you can see um, that it is partly open um, there's a cylinder on the inside this is the part that uh, goes into the radiator with the with the spud, which is missing. Um, and this is the three quarter inch female uh, national pipe thread connection, which uh, is the steam supply. And I may have not have mentioned that in this system there is a return, which is at the bottom of the radiator, which is usually half inch, and it's just an ordinary elbow. Sometimes there might have been a trap. Uh, added later, but uh, these are were designed to be simple systems. So the octagonal cap comes off. This is a inch and a six. Excuse me, two and a sixteenth inch, uh, flat to flat. I'm going to use some kind of um, a flat uh, spud, non-toothed item to to remove this. Uh, this is the follower which compresses the packing. And uh, as we discussed in the other video, this is where the packing goes in this space here. And this is the cylinder, internal cylinder. You might have to tap, tap, tap to get it out. Uh, that probably won't come, yours probably won't come out that easily. I kind of cheated because I I was able to uh, hit hit it uh, from the the bottom and pop this cylinder out. It came out fairly easily when you when you hit it that way. Trying to pull it from the top might be interesting. Somebody has tried to grab this thing and turn it uh, over the years. Um, kind of boogered the top so I had to file away to be able to remove the uh, cap you can see my filing there I think that's about a 5 h inch square and I think we discussed with the other video the various uh, tools that you can uh, sort of, um, improvisational tools you can use to uh, get that to turn but it's unlikely you'll get it to turn until you get this freed up here's the shell you can see the parting line from the original casting. Um, it's a tapered machine um, machine surfaces there. This is the uh, internal plug, also tapered. I think it's a graphite material on the inside there. Uh, relatively slippery. I would probably uh, gently uh, clean that off. Any rough spots hit it with a very fine 300 grit emery cloth uh, or, or even finer crocus cloth you want that fairly smooth and then maybe use molybdenum sulfide grease maybe this can go in remember there's your index mark i've uh, emphasized it so you can see there that that's fully open and of course the hole is there, like that, fairly large. That's going to be generally way too too much steam entering the radiator. Somewhere there, in average size radiators, it's going to be a, a matter of experiment experimentation. And as you adjust one, the others will have to be adjusted. The goalposts keep moving, and every change you make on this may have a an effect on the system throughout, sort of like ripples spreading out from a pond. I would recommend repacking with a um, polytetrafluorine um, packing material. You'll have to go in bit by bit by bit and um, 
compress, compress, compress until you get it so that this thing is uh, sealed and can move with some difficulty, but not completely uh, locked up. And I'm able to, by pushing down, I'm able to, you really have to, really have to push down, get it to turn, but I can get it to turn. So that's the story on that. Thank you very much um, for this uh, look at the blast from the past here. Um, Tudor system, uh, vapor, two-pipe steam system valve. Thank you very much, and I hope to see you on the next one.